Zoinks! Hey there, friends! My name is Kevin, and today we're gonna to be playing Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights. I've not played this one before. This is the one that was recommended to me by you uh, Scooby-Doo fans out there, but uh, I am a huge fan of the cartoon. I used to love it when I was uh, a young wee lad seven days ago. Oh wait, the song is playing. It's so nostalgic. I really like this one. The other one just makes me kind of angry. What's new Scooby-Doo? We're coming after you. We're gonna solve that mystery. What's new Scooby-Doo? The trail leads back to you. What's new Scooby-Doo? Na 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 na. What an unresolved. Anger there. Zoinks. <laughs> well, I guess I'll just bury that deep down inside again. Okay, so... Apparently there's a weird Hot Wheels tie-in with this game. <laughs> there's Hot Wheels merchandise. I don't see the connection, but whatever. <laughs> Let's jump into the game. It's just, you know, when I see this, I don't think of oh, Vin salty. Diesel. <laughs> salty sea air, Scoob. You know what that means, buddy. Crack! I knew he was on something. <laughs> In fact, I think they're all on something. Don't forget the real reason we're here. Go lobster bisque! Does this game have a laugh track? The show didn't have a laugh track, did it? I don't think it did. Why does the game have a laugh track? <laughs> that is the house you buy knowing you're going to leave it in your will to someone, but require they stay in it for 24 hours. <laughs> so I figured my mystery would be right up your alley. Is your mystery that your windows keep opening and closing themselves? Because that's a bit odd. He disappeared without a trace. Oh, I think I heard him calling for you there. Should we follow that? Why does Shaggy look like the hunchback of Notre Dame in this game? Well, what do you know? Scooby Snacks! Hey there, Scoob! Okay, this is a little bit suspicious. Someone's left a trail of Scooby Snacks. This seems like a trap. Don't just mouse wishy here! Scooby Doo! What do you know? A trap. No one could have seen it coming. Now that my friend has been swallowed by a sinkhole, I'm just going to start gathering these Scooby snacks. Look at a big smile on his face. He does not care in the slightest. You need a key to unlock this gate. And opposable thumbs. I don't think I can get in there regardless. Okay, it turns out this hole that he fell down is painted on. I can't even fall down there if I try. Okay, I can't go anywhere except for the mystic playground. I can't even go into the house where all my friends are to tell them about the sinkhole. Who are you? Hello, Scooby. How you even know me? I'm just destroying the feckin' garden now. <laughs> the audience is laughing away like, haha, dog on tire swing. Hey, remember that man who fell in the sinkhole? <laughs> Stop laughing at me. I'm just trying to get my Scoopy snacks. What is this tied onto? What the hell? What am I swinging on? It's a flying hook. Never mind. Imagine them after going to the mansion and the person they're helping just goes, hey, you want to check in your dog? And they look out the window and see this. Ah, he seems fine. Why do these people have so many tire swings? Like, apparently it was just her uncle who lived here. Why does he have so many tire swings? All right, now I can afford to get in the house. What kind of a house has a toll on it? Ah, for feck's sake, how did they find their way around if the place is like this? I'm so glad you found me. <laughs> As soon as we got inside the mansion, the mastermind appeared. Who the hell is the mastermind? You're gonna have to fill me in here like I just got here. I've never seen a more obvious secret entrance, but again, I don't have thumbs to interact with the book. I don't know how to progress. Oh, I think I have to go back outside to this creepy dude again. Look, I don't mean to profile, but that's him. That's the evil guy. Case closed. <laughs> Look at him. I need a shovel to dig? What kind of a dog needs a shovel to dig? <laughs> There we go. I dug up a key. <laughs> I destroyed his flowers. <laughs> Alright, we can get through that gate now. <laughs> I don't know where the hell I'm going. What about Shaggy? He fell in a sinkhole! Why do those fish just make bird noises? Oh, they're, they're flying fish, I see. <laughs> What, what the hell is that? Oh my god, it's the caveman! I remember that episode! But like, I'm pretty sure most of the monsters are supposed to be people in disguise and whatnot in this game. Like, he legit just came out of the ice. I saw that. This is a scientific breakthrough. Like, we should try and- we should try and figure this whole thing out, I think. But on the other hand, Scooby Snacks! Oh, there goes my friend! <laughs> Thank god that seagull rescued you out of that sinkhole because I don't think anyone else was gonna rescue you. Ah, yes, back together. <laughs> They're like an old married couple. <laughs> oh, oh, sweet bejesus, okay. <laughs> I think he'll have broken a hip. Okay, Shaggy, 
I know this was a cartoon, but as your friend, I have to warn you, you're gonna get serious joint issues if you continue doing things like this. You go on, Scoob. Mom, I'll catch up with you later. Okay, goodbye, Shaggy. Uh, you sure you want- You know what? No, he looks like he's having fun. I'll just leave him there. Run. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> god damn. Oh my god, how are you everywhere? You were definitely the monster. Oh, I can relate, Scoob. I think we're all afraid of getting crabs. Should we help that man? Are those men? I think they're stuck up there. They can't unzip from their scuba diving clothes. Oh, I found some springs. Fantastic. Now I can do a double jump. Oh my god, I'm so close to death, but look how happy Scoob is. He's like, finally, I can escape this nightmare. <laughs> Oh my god, this place is so feckin' haunted. Whoever's setting up this elaborate scheme, honestly, you deserve to just get the manor or whatever your motivations are. Oh my god, I went through all that and this guy's at the end of it as always. What route are you taking? Can you help me out? He gave me some slippers and a lampshade. Okay, I have now powered up and I can do this. <laughs> Great. Hey, I don't know anything about interior design. Maybe this looks good to people. In fact, yes, I would like one of those in my house. I wonder if Shaggy's still just hanging there. <laughs> Oh, that's some happy music. Oh, look, here he is. <laughs> He's having the time of his life. He's treating this place as an amusement park. He is a weird dude. <laughs> Whoa, Jukes. He tried to kill me. What? Oh my god, can I not just like sit on your lap or something? <laughs> Oh, for feck's sake. I was pretending to be a lamp thinking I could get away with it, but no. We've reached that inevitable part in old games where there's just a level that is extremely hard for no reason, haven't we? Come back on, Scoob! Feck's sake! I'm gonna die, aren't I? And I'm gonna have to do this again. All because I feckin' cosplayed as a lamp. Oh, for feck's sake, dude. You have nothing better to do with your day than just standing there waiting for me. <laughs> I'm dead. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, we're back to the start again. At least give me some more lives. Oh, I forgot to fill you in a little detail as well. Just as this game was starting, there was a bit of a prologue where uh, Shaggy took out a massive life insurance policy on Scooby-Doo. So that could be relevant here. If Scooby dies, Shaggy gets one million dollars. That's why when there's fire coming up, Shaggy's like, wahoo! Okay, thank god we made it. Heck in hell. <laughs> Out of control, pal. Oh, of course it is. I'll be back at the start. <laughs> it's just like, we're gonna keep doing this over and over again until you die, Scoob. <laughs> and then he just morphed through a wooden pole. <laughs> oh my god, this place is a death trap. Where'd I go? Oh, he's thinking. Is there, ooh, nothing here, but a really, really nice lamp. <laughs> oh, for feck's sake. Why did he have to get so touchy with the lamp? <laughs> We're back at the manor, but you know what? I think Scooby's had enough. Like, Shaggy is clearly trying to murder him. The others have abandoned him. I think I've actually solved the mystery. I've got it. They've taken out a massive life insurance policy on Scooby's life, and that person who we saw at the start, they're a realtor. We're trying to buy this house off them, and we're gonna use the money from Scooby's debt to purchase it. Mystery solved. Christ almighty, what was that? Oh, Scooby said, scratching himself and that makes the controller go nuts. All right. <laughs> well, we're gonna leave it there. I hope you enjoyed. This game does seem quite fun. If I had this when I was young, I would have really enjoyed it, I think. But, uh, I... Except for that parent. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed the video. I appreciate you watching. I really do. Uh, if you want to see more of my stuff, I post every day. But I also stream over on Twitch as well. The link for that is in the description. But, uh, yeah, other than that, I'll just thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.